Our first prototype is a weather balloon that tows our actual prototype balloon up to the ionosphere. It basically goes up to as close to 185,000 feet as we can reach. At that point it should be able to access the current and the Birkeland current will allow it to fully charge the coils and move on out into space. It should be able to follow the lines of the magnetosphere as soon as the coils energize, they will propel it forward faster and faster further into space. Our second version of the prototype uses a small scale model of an aircraft. The Skymaster Jets F-104. And we do the same thing. We use a balloon to tow it up to altitude. But then things become a little bit different. Once we get the balloon tossed about by the winds up to the bottom of the ionization D layer, we need to get further. Uh, and so we cut loose from the balloon and fire the rocket, which is replacing the jet engine in the F-104 body. And then it moves up into the current. You can see the magnetic coils activated and the uh, magnetic shell around the craft. Uh, as it moves on out through the magneto tail into the heliosphere on in space. We can turn left by activating a coil on the left hand side or we can turn to the right by activating a coil on the right hand side and the idea is we can steer ourselves to point ourselves in the direction of Mars.